Okay, I got the bottom and back in place with an extra brace here, a little stronger brace all the way across. These ends are boxed in so that they can't escape on both sides. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the top board up now rather than putting the tires back in place yet and do the same thing with it, box it in, brace it up, and then I'll uh, reload the tire rack and uh, step back and take a look at my work and go, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Okay then, let's just marvel with joy and ecstasy at what a lovely set of tire racks I have done reconstructed here. Oh my, oh my, yes, yes that is just plumb lovely, even if I do say so myself. So, next thing I'll do is load this thing up with some tars, and I might as well get on with that. And I'm gonna stick the ones that I'm least likely to need first over in the edges here, like where them bicycles are, because they'd be a little harder to get to without rearranging things. I put the ones that I'll need quickest, soonest, out front, like the ones that will go back on the car and the truck and everything in the springtime. So, here's how we do that. You want to see some heavy tires. Those are 17 inch spokes for Ford. And I don't know, it feels like they feel them things with concrete. Those things are incredibly heavy. Holy cow. I think this is a 16 inch spoke here. I got some more down right here somewhere. I'll go ahead and put that one up. I've been putting, trying to put the lighter tires on the top rack there and put the tires over there that I won't drag out, like those spoke wheels. I might need them on a hot rod one day, but I don't need them today. And uh, it's good to have them in a place where I can keep them out of the weather and get to them if I want them. But I won't need to drag them out, I don't think, anytime soon. So about all I got left is these sob tires. I can fit them in there pretty easy. Plus these little sob tires ain't very heavy. And they're uh, on aluminum rims and all, so they're pretty lightweight. I'll throw them right up on the top rack. Oh, the joy. Okay, that's a good bit of work done and over with. Now I can get to my metal, which I got up under there again, which is good if I need it. Uh, and I got it done before the ground thawed. If you can see where the sun's coming to, it's muddy right there. And you know, right about where the sun is is where it's getting muddy. So I'm kind of glad I got that done before the sun thawed out in the mud there. So with that said, I'll uh, call that good and go see what else I can get into.